um, hey guys, this is Code Draco, and uh, I was doing sound effects on an intro just now, and uh, as of right now, it's 4 a.m., 4.02 a.m. on January 9th, and uh, so this intro is already up on my page as of right now, as you can see right here. This intro is already up on my page right now, and let me show you it real quick. Let's just show you guys what you have to well, I'm just going to just give you a little preview of what I'm going to show you how to do. And as you can listen, just listen. You don't have to care about the animation. So, um, a lot of people were asking for a tutorial on sound effects. <coughs> sound effects. So, I wanted to do one of those. So, as you can see, I got my animation right here. I got some flares, solid, the camera you know the actual intro but all of these 10 to 21 so 11 sound effects tracks so I wanted to do sort of a um, like a little I mean there's so many ways to do sound effects but I want to do how I do it in general so this might be kind of long but I'm gonna try to cut it down cuz it's 4 in the morning and I'm really tired <laughs> but uh, let's, uh, let's start this up first of all you want to get a good sound effects pack um, the two that most people like to use is um, <coughs> is uh, Pro Scores or um, uh, Designer Sound Effects from Video Copilot. The one that I use myself is Designer Sound Effects, even though I hear Pro Scores is better. You know, I spent like I took spent like ways like three hours to download Designer Sound Effects. I'm not gonna wait to download Pro Scores too. But as you can see here, we have Designer Sound Effects, and let's open this up. And the 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 little uh, program I used to actually listen to these and like pick and choose because this one's really good is Adobe Sound Booth CS5. You guys don't have to use this. You can use uh, iTunes or whatever you guys have. I just like this because I can mess. I can like mix it up a little. And also in Sound Booth, it uh, you know, you guys will have this if you guys uh did what I did and you bought and you got the Master Collection, uh, the Adobe Master Collection. But if you guys uh, didn't, you guys probably won't have this because not something that you would just get on your own. But here we go, we got uh, Adobe Sound Booth and Sound Sound Effects side by side. Now first thing you want to do is, uh, let's, let's just for now delete all of these so we can just start fresh. Alright, so here we have it, the intro. And now the first thing you want to do is find an ambience. And uh, ambience is basically, um, sort of, how, how would I explain it? So the ambience is basically the background track. Like on all the intros, you hear like all the you know the bangs and the swishes and all those. But there's also like a little like a little bit of beats and like sounds going on in the background just to you know give a little bit of like filling, like not just like you know just there. So uh, if you want some ambience, we can go up to right here. And then uh, if you have designer sound effects, but you know you just if you have an ambience folder and whatever sound effects pack you're using, then you can go ahead and use that. But in designer sound effects is special ambience. And then also, uh, if you design sounds like you don't enjoy any of these ambiences, you can go to abstract and beats. And these ones are already pre-made beats, and you know they're all right. But I just like using ambience, so we can just mess with these a little. And basically, what I do, I just take one, drag the sound booth, press space, you know, or click, press space. Oh, I got one, golden gleam. I just pick ones that have cool names. To be honest, I have no like, like actual like real way to choose these. And then, you know, I just go through a ton and ton and ton of these. And, uh, basically I just find one until I like it. And, I, now, for this one, I kind of wanted it a sort of simple, but sort of, uh, turn this off. A sort of simple, but sort of, uh, you know, not too dramatic to approach, I guess. So, I, I went through all of these until I, uh, found this one. And I use it uninvited, and it's this one right here. It's sort of just like a ringing noise with just a little tinkly sounds or whatever in between. So basically how you put this into After Effects, which is where I do put the sounds. I go to Uninvited, drag it down to my AE, and then drop it in my uh, project. Find the file. Alright, here we go, uninvited.wav. Then you just drag it down here, and it makes the clip. For things like ambiences, that's something that's going to probably be running through the whole... Um, the whole intro so you don't have to mess with the movement but one thing I would do 
is that a lot I, I kind of like it to fade out in the end I think I forgot to do it on the actual final render of this one but it's not that important but that's something I like to do so uh, you can go down on uninvited go down on the audio and go down on the waveform so basically you want to see right here maybe we'll go like sort of right here towards the end click your audio levels and then uh, move back a little and sort of a uh, key mark or key mark is that it keyframe the zero all right now move up a little and then just move to the very end where it's like just like not not this far this is too far if you don't see anything make sure you can see something and then put this to negative 40 negative 40 basically means silent and then uh now just from here from uh as you can see the keyframe is where i'm putting it and if you want to know how to move singularly through frames hold on control and just move your arrows but uh from right here as you can see the two keyframes from here to here it gradually fades the music out and if i could uh, render that for you anyway, all right let's uh one second let's render the frames i can just show you an example so as you can see we're slowly getting there and all right now we have it played and then what you want to do is that once you have this is the sort of uh, i forgot what the word is but it basically shows sort of what you guys might think of it if you guys know what buffering is basically like that and that's the green bar where it's green it means it's like basically buffered and uh and, and so ram preview as you, uh, a lot of people have been asked like man how do you do uh sound effects it doesn't work in after effects well it actually does but not in the preview that we all use when we press space what you gotta actually do is get all the buffer and then press ram preview so as you can see, it gradually fades out at the end. If you let's listen one more time, just wait at the very end and like listen at the very end where the sound fades out. All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys saw that that time. So uh, that's that's basically how to make like uh, change the audio levels, so ambiences and stuff. If you know what I'm trying to say. So uh, basically, for everything else in this. Um, what you might want to do like drums, I add drums in it sometimes because drums just add a sort of like just just more in there because the ambience is kind of simple itself but drums you don't really have to mess with like maybe if you want to add a short hit to the end just like to end off the whole thing but you know maybe you can add like a like a little build up throughout the whole thing Don't you don't have to mess with it, you can if you want but I'll, what I usually do is I'll just find a drum that sounds cool and then I'll just drop it in but uh, bas I don't think I have to go uh, singularly through the sounds like all these sounds and then um, drums, or not drums, drums, I already showed, but like sounds, impacts, and switches, and twitch sounds if you have that, or whatever other singular sounds you have for a singular specific object, those things I think I can just cover in one single uh, sort of, you know, t topic. So basically, uh, to go over all, you know, sounds, little sound effects, not like long beats, let's just, uh, sorry, this might seem really blurry, I keep my, uh, Qual my preview quality on quarter so I can render faster and then alright so let's pick a good space that I can do it alright for example <coughs> oh, I'm sorry alright for example uh, we got right here now let's uh, control and arrow key down to where the uh, flares pop up alright right here the flare that's where the fl flares pop up now uh, basically what these flares do they go uh, they go like one goes to the left. You can't see that. Alright. One goes to the left and then one goes to the right. As you can see one goes to the left and one goes to the right. And then when when they reach the end when they reach the end, they both turn backwards and they go to the separate directions. You can't see this skipping through because I have the quality on too high. But uh as you can see, once once they once they reach the ends, it stops and skips back and they go opposite directions. So basically what I want for that is um this one, this uh, this movement of the flares is a bit slower than this one, so I want a slower swoosh and then a faster swoosh. So what I do is go back to my point where all the, where both the flares start out. So I got that ready. Let me put this back to quarter because it's too hard using it on half. All right, so we got the point where the two flares are both ready. And what you want to do is uh, let's go to our swoosh swishes. And let's pick a nice one. Um, uh, Alright, that 
one's fine. I, don't th I didn't use this one on this actual one, but we might as well just use it. Alright, now we got a swish or swish or whatever. And uh, we'll drop that in. And then now that we have the first swish, alright, th this is why if you guys are wondering why I was making such a big deal of stress over to start where you actually want the sound effects to start. So now I can just simply just move this sound effects to the very start. Because what you want to do, the good thing about sound boost is that um, you can see, like, alright, the, the waveform, as you can see, like, the uh, actual sound effects right here, it starts in the very beginning. But some of the sound effects will start at the end, so you have to actually do lining up. But if, if the sound effect starts in the beginning, you can simply just drag it over to the beginning right here, where I, I like put the little, you can see the red line passing through every single uh, layer where where because that's where i uh marked where the where everything starts so let me just show you guys how just by, just by moving it to where everything starts like it like lined everything up let's buffer it out I don't know, I didn't use delay swoosh on my original one, so I don't know if it's too long, but it should sync fine. But alright, let's just RAM preview it. Yeah, see, so uh, so it, sh it should have worked. The thing is that it starts, it's like too long, but what you can just do in that case, just move it back a little until you think you got enough that it just worked. It's really simple, actually. Yeah, as you can see, if you if you look closely at the flares and when the sound effects goes off, it syncs well. And then uh, let's pick a faster one. And uh, let's just pick one that one's labeled fast, fast switch. switch. That's I, that, the thing is that I don't I don't I don't use ones where the actual uh, selections in the middle because I don't like uh, messing with it too much. So I'd rather just pick one like this is the one I used. Yeah, the one at the very beginning. I think this is the one I used. Yeah, see, it just goes really fast. So fast zing, let's take it over to After Effects, drop it right in, and drop it right in. And then now let's uh, move our keyframes over to where the uh, the flares turn backwards and run the opposite direction, which is right here is where it starts. So let's go back. And this one starts at the very beginning. I already know that's how. So this one should work if I just drop it right there. And now let's render it out again, or buffer it out. And then, uh, one second, uh, 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 and let's RAM preview it. Yeah, as you can see, look at the, if you look at the flares and listen to the music, the f uh, music and the flares sync perfectly, and that's what you have to do using frames and uh, and looking at uh, the, just coordinating it all together. So if you listen again, so uh, that's basically how you uh, sync and. Uh, apply sound effects to uh, your intros so if you guys have any other questions asking please don't ask for designer sound effects like don't don't please don't ask me for sound effects because like I might release like 10 10 different sound effects in a pack but I won't release all of mine and not because I'm trying to hide it it's because it's like a three hour download so I, I mean I can't like I, I don't know where I'd upload something because that's it's like a gigabyte memory so I, I won't be able to upload that anywhere or do anything like that to give it to you guys and I wish I could I really do I tried to upload it to file front but it was too big of a file so I'm sorry guys but uh if you guys uh you know need anything else just uh let me know in the comments below but sorry I can't give you actual sound effects but I hope you guys learned something on how to apply sound effects in this tutorial if I miss anything out let me know and I might uh, make another thanks bye